My name is Detective James Curtis, and I've been a private eye for 17 years now, and I've never seen a calm stretch like this one. Hadn't had a case in several weeks. See, the problem is, I'm too good at my job. I already solved all the crimes in this city. Sometimes, before they even happened. If there's one thing I knew, it's that trouble could walk through that door at any second. Her name is Penelope Taylor. When I said trouble could walk through that door, I wasn't lying to ya. Her brother Reese was no good. But this was one dame I couldn't say no to. What brings you here, Penelope? I need your help, Jimmy. It's my brother, Reese. Something's happened to him. Something awful. What makes you think I would help Reese? Can't you do it for me? For me, Jimmy? For old time's sake? I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I knew I had to help her. I just didn't know where to start looking. Hello, secretary. Yeah, send him up. Package for Mr. James Curtis. Did you know? Well, you see, I was expecting a delivery from the man with the broken nose. <laughs> I decided I should check the package to see if there were any clues. I suspected my old rival, Charles Butler. I couldn't find anything that would lead me to him. Luckily, I knew one spot where he liked to hang out. So I thought I'd pay him a visit. When I arrived, there was no Charles Butler to be seen. Only one of his goons, Brutus. I knew I could get some information out of this guy. What do you know about the whereabouts of Reese Taylor? Well, I might know something. I ain't a squeal. Well, why don't you tell me, what do you know about Charles Butler? I only talked to a guy with a couple of broken kneecaps. That strong talk coming from a guy that's missing a few teeth. <laughs> All right, tell me what you know. All right, I'll talk. Butler's in an old warehouse. It's across from his favorite Chuck E. Cheese. You know the place. Of course I knew the place. Thanks for the information, Buster, but we've already got enough rats in this city. No! Looks like I needed to visit an old warehouse. I knew it could be a trap, but I wasn't scared of any danger. You're the twins. Yeah, the and you're the guy with the two black eyes. Oh, Curtis. I must be trapped in Charles Butler's lair. I need a cup of joe. I can at least search for some clues. Nothing to see here. Congratulations, Curtis. You've gotten yourself captured yet again. And this time, 
You've made it far too easy. It's only your plan, Butler, and maybe I'll let you escape this time. Me? Escape? Look at you. You are tied up in my lair, surrounded by my goons. But no matter. I will tell you my plan, for it's far too devious even for you to stop. See, I have this guy right where I want him. About to tell me his plan. The only problem is, I need to find a way to escape from this chair. Step one, kill that man. Step two, capture you. You know, now that I think about it. Boys, we did it! We did it! I'm proud of all of you. Rap, really give it. This is for you. This is for you. Great work, team. There's only one problem with your plan, Butler. You see, I'm not the one who's tied up. Hats off to you, Butler. But it looks like this time, you're the one getting served. Damn you, Curtis! Book him, officer. All right, now cuff him up. Looks like crime never takes a rest. Well, what are you arresting me for, officer? <laughs> I told you I'd get you, Curtis. Well, the real crime is all these bad jokes. Yep, I deserve this. Yep. <laughs>